pull him out in the ninth inning, but uh, and they were able to, to break up the shutout. But what did you think of him overall? Well, you know what? I thought he was exactly what we needed, and that was give our bullpen a rest so we can gang up on them tomorrow in terms of rested bodies. And uh, he really stepped up, kept the leadoff hitter off base, made pitches when he had to, put the ball on the ground. We played defense behind him, and that's the way he has to pitch, and that's the way we'll succeed when he does pitch. And you moved him from, from Friday to Saturday uh, and, and moved uh, Noah Bremer up. Um, and you talked a little bit about that. You wanted him to kind of be that swing man on Saturday to do kind of just exactly what he did today, you know, rest the bullpen. How important is he to your staff to, to be a guy that can give you, you know, a, a, a sturdy outing? Yeah, you know, he's just great on Saturday, like I said, because if we get into the pen earlier than we want on Friday, we can count on him to give us hopefully at least seven innings and do his thing. Then he gives us a chance to, to either be up two games to none or come back and win that swing game. So you couldn't ask for a better guy in that role. And, you know, and I think he's good. I think he's not only good for us on Saturday, he's just good for our program because it's a great example of somebody who isn't 6'4 and 95 miles an hour but goes out and competes like crazy and knows how to pitch and succeeds. What do you think the other pitchers kind of learn from him when he's not a guy that has you know the first round talent stuff behind him? You know I think they learn that regardless of how hard you throw and regardless of your physical tools if you can't pitch backwards in this league if you can't throw a 1-0 change up if you can't throw a 3-1 breaking ball with runners in scoring position you're really going to struggle and you're not going to get us into the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. So I mean, he's he's the poster child for that cause right there. And then a guy that comes into the ninth inning, Troy Rollins, you started him earlier this year in, in the rotation. What went into the decision to move him back to the bullpen? Well, you know what? We felt like we were a little bit thin in the pen, and we felt like if we had Troy lurking back there, that it just gives us a little more of an option uh, on Saturday and on Sunday. And the way Noah had kind of stepped up, mm -hmm. we felt like, you know what? Unless we improve a lot offensively, you know, we may have some low-scoring games on Friday. And rather than sacrifice Troy on Friday, let's throw a guy that nobody's seen. And they might struggle with no one. He might give us five, and then we can make a decision in the bullpen from there. So that's, that's the logic. And you made a couple other moves uh, in the lineup. Uh, you moved Braden Bishop down in, into the three-hole uh, from leading off. And then uh, Cushing come, steps in. Uh, I didn't see him earlier this season when, when I saw you guys. But he has two doubles a day. Uh, what is his, him being in the lineup? What has he added? And, and what kind of the moves that you made, what was the, the reasoning there? You know, Kush just takes good at-bats, and he's solid, and, and you, know, you know what you're going to get from him. And as a coach, we don't always get that. So well, that's the comfort zone with him. And, and as far as Braden goes, when we lost Austin Rye, our catcher, you know, he was our three-hole guy, and we kind of had a hole in the middle, and we thought about how we'd handle that. And I personally, I like having an athlete in that three spot who can you know, put the ball in play and, and drag or push if you need it. And, and who's more of a contact guy, and, and he's had a tough weekend so far, but he'll bounce back tomorrow for us, and, and I think he's going to be he's going to be fine in that spot. And then last, coach, you, you you get to tie the series up today. What would it mean to the club to to get a series win to open Pac-12 play? You know, it's not just a series win for us. You know, a series win here would be great for our program. It's been a while for us, so we talked about that after the game that we're going to see them at their best tomorrow, and, and uh, there's a reason. They were picked to win our league. They've got an older team. They've got a veteran group that knows how to win. So we've got to come out tomorrow and try to apply some pressure on them early and try to put them on their heels and, and hopefully get on that plane tomorrow. And, and I told our guys, you know, jokingly, have a great feeling rolling into finals on Monday. <laughs> so how, how else would you rather walk into your final exams than having won two out of three at UCLA?